Hi, this is Jessica Mays, Infusionsoft Certified Consultant, and today I'm going to show you how to find, create, and use reports and save searches in Infusionsoft. If we head over to an Infusionsoft application, if you hover on the Infusionsoft icon, we're going to start with reports, by the way. You are going to see under all the sections that you have access to in your particular app, I have access to the CRM tools, marketing, and e-commerce. We have a list of reports for each, and then we also have a list of reports for the admin panel. So if you click into CRM reports, you then receive a list. Actually, CRM is the one, um, there's actually a drop down from here that you have two different sections. You have reports for your affiliate uh, section and you also have reports for your sales um, section. The more, the, the, the more CRM-y type of stuff. Here in marketing, if we click on reports, you get a long list of marketing reports that you can choose from. Same goes for e-commerce. If you have e-commerce in your application, lots of different uh, ways that you can look at your e-commerce data. And then there's reports that you can pull um, from the admin panel. So I just want to show you where you can find the reports, first of all, because I, I, I think that a lot of times it's just a matter of knowing where this information is, and then you can dive in and figure out what's going to fit your needs. Once you're, you've taken a look at all of the lists, you're going to want to, these also you can click into, click into all of them. It, they give you a nice description. Infusionsoft creates these descriptions here. So um, there's a nice general description, so you, you're going to know if it's something that you're going to want to take a 10-second peek at and consider, or you can just skip, it, skip over it because it's not resonating with you as being something you need to look at. But you're going to just go ahead and click into something. And um, currently I'm in a report that can tell me who has filled out uh, my web forms. Web forms being traditional web form, like something you would put on your home page, um, or also even the landing pages that you can create in Infusionsoft. And um, I can go ahead and if, if I select nothing in this particular report, I will get um, a list of every person that's filled out every report. I can go ahead and just choose one report from the drop-down. I can go into dates. I mean, everybody's done contact searches, so that it's the same concept that you can you can narrow this so that you can get some 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 good metrics to see um, how certain web forms are performing. So this is just an example of a marketing report, um, and then from there. A couple other things that I want to point out is when you choose a report that, that is going to um, give you data that, that is something that you find useful, you're going to want to do a couple of things. You're going to want to put your search uh, the way you want it, so a particular web form, particular date range, um, and you're also going to want to take a peek at the columns section. I find new customers don't even know the columns section is there, but it's super handy because it allows you to modify what information is available on the screen when you do a search. So in this particular report, the available fields are, uh, let's see, there's five of them. And then I can pick and choose which ones I actually want to see when results are, are given back. So I've made the decision at some point that I didn't need contact ID, didn't need ID, didn't need form ID. Um, actually, the stuff over here is the, is the stuff I haven't chosen. The stuff over here is the stuff that I have chosen. So there's actually um, nine particular columns that you can have in this uh, specific report. So I've made my decision that I want those four columns. I can go ahead and click OK. It gives me um, just those four columns. And if I like this, if this works out great for something that I'm trying to take a peek at, I can click the Save button. I can go ahead and name the search. I can decide who has access to it. These are people that um, are set up as users, active users in my app. And I can also put this report directly on my home page just by checkboxing right here. Now, if I, if I choose a couple of team members and I do the checkbox, it won't go on my screen as well as the team member screen. It will only go on my dashboard. Um, the other person would have to add it to their dashboard. Okay, so there's a, a bunch of things here. It's number one, just knowing where to find reports in the system. Number two, it's going through the list. And there's one, two, there's four lists that you're going to want to take time. And you could probably go through all of these in about, just do kind of like a high-level review in 20 or 30 minutes. And then um, creating some, some reports 
i.e., you know, fixing the columns and fixing the search criteria in ways that it's going to be helpful for you, and then considering putting those particular reports out on your dashboard. So that is the scoop about reports. I also want to spend a little time talking about save searches because you can create save searches that then can function as uh, reporting tools for you. So, for example, if I'm going to go into contacts, and let's say that I, I always want to take a look, or frequently want to take a look at um, how many people have requested to receive the blog posts that I publish every day of the work week um, by email. I can go ahead and find that tag. I can go ahead and do the search. And same concept as with the reports. I can go into, if I hit Edit Criteria, it'll let me go into the columns. And I can say that for a report like that, I would be interested in seeing, I don't gather company name when people opt in to receive the blog, so that would most likely be blank a lot of the time. I also don't collect phone number or state. So I think the ID, the name, and the email is adequate for what I've just created a search for. Let's see, name. I'm just looking at, because over here in available fields, I can decide if I want to, I don't think, I can't remember if I gather last name on any of my forms for the blog, but I'm going to push that over just so that you can see the way you can grab things from available fields and push it over into the custom field column. If you're up here and you can't figure out where the button is to push it over, just scroll down. These longer, the, the, the button to push it over is always in the middle, and sometimes these lists get pretty darn long. So, all right, let's go ahead and tweak that. Okay, so I like that. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to call it opted in for blog posts. I'm just going to save it for myself, and I am going to put it right on my home page right now. User home is also AKA the dashboard. So that is now saved. If I go to my dash, it should be sitting there waiting for me. There it is, opted in for blog posts. So this really is serving as a report, um, but I actually did a saved search. Um, and then I created a report from there. So that's why I wanted to point out, first of all, to go through the reporting that's available. But if you find, and inevitably you're going to find something that you can't, you can't find a report that really meets that need. Start thinking about if there's other ways that you can pull that information up at Infusionsoft. Perhaps it's through a contact search. Perhaps it's through some, some other kind of search. And then go ahead and save that search. And, um, and then really it's, it's um, acting just like a report. It's just a different spot to go ahead and, and find that. And it really opens up your options a ton when you start thinking about safe searches as potential reports for you. So the last thing I'll say is out here on the dashboard, if you decide that if you, if you have a safe search um, and you didn't put it out on the dashboard initially and now you're like, oh, I wish it was there, you just go to Add Dashboard Widgets. You find the one called Save Search or Save Report, and you just follow the directions. So you click Add to Dashboard. The widget comes out, and then you go ahead and do your search. So I would do uh, Save Search. I would find it in the drop-down menu, and then I would say OK, and it would come out on the dash at that time. Same with Reports. You choose from the, the drop-downs, and it would come up here. So that is going to wrap up how we can find create, and use say, uh, reports and safe searches in Infusionsoft.